Talking is important in mental well-being because you can talk about how you feel, what you're going through at the time, you can bounce off other people, your friends, whether that's at rugby, school, work, it's good to be able to talk to someone and get their opinion so at least the weight is almost shared with someone else to help them maybe help them through that time. Do you know if around the squad do some lads find it easy or difficult to, to talk between each other or how they're feeling? Because it's quite high pressure environments that you deal with and the emotions that you go through can be ecstatic to, to really learn. Yeah, definitely. Rugby's a, a difficult one because the bravado about rugby is that you're strong and match almost superhuman, whereas when you step away from it and even in it you're still human, you still have feelings and emotions and the thing that you're trained to do as a professional athlete is when you're on the pitch is to be almost cold and ruthless and go through with what you've practiced but it's more the off field stuff so getting dropped or not having a great day at home things like that it's how you then deal with it some players will talk more than others openly or freely it's almost the ones that that maybe don't is the people that are more likely to to suffer with these kind of things and I think as a, as a group and as a culture it's we try to speak to each other as much as possible maybe go out for a, a coffee in a relaxed environment and see if someone wants to talk and if they do then you can hopefully then push them in the right direction that might not be myself for example pushing them to, to a strategy it might be just saying look maybe you should go and chat to someone that's professional and qualified in this area just to help you get through it it's not it's not a weakness it's just something that actually if you can get through will make you mentally stronger and go into whatever you're going to go do sometimes there's some difficult situations particularly in rugby around injuries you yourself have had some very very long-term injuries and i suppose that can challenge someone's mental health have you ever had any situations where you found it difficult during your lengthy injury periods um yeah i think people would be lying if they said they didn't particularly when you pick up your first one your first one is the big shock to the system because you're not used to it mine was what well, my ankle was first probably but then it was my knee was probably the biggest one where you knew you were going to be out for say a year it's how you then break that down and i ended up speaking to lots and lots of friends and saying what what can i do how can i sort of get through this tough period because you're not being able to do what you want to do. I guess whenever you uh, opened up to those people, did you feel a bit of a sense of relief and that actually it wasn't all too doom and gloom and they just even having that conversation about, you know, I'm injured, what, what do you advise that I do? How do you think this could work? Did that help in your in your sort of mental well-being? Yeah, definitely. Being able to speak to a couple of really close friends or family of what, what can I do outside rugby to keep myself mentally stimulated is more the main thing with the playing the sport because you can't do the physical activity that you're used to doing you can't perform the way that you want to and there's that little bit of doubt maybe about will I get back to being as good as I was and it's about setting new challenges and goals rugby wise so that might be in the gym or nutritionally putting some weight on losing some weight those kind of goals just help you focus something away from I want to be playing every week or in the first team or I want to work on this on my game you can actually go away and supplements actually when you come back you're a stronger player that's the rugby side of it and then away from rugby you've got to just split the two down the middle so it's your rugby side and then when you go home you try not to think about it too much you always have to step away from the sport and the way that I've found to deal with it and the people suggested was take new challenges like go coaching or it might be cooking reading that, that kind of thing, do stuff outside rugby I found that I really enjoy and that I really want to do takes my focus away from the disappointment of not being able to play.